There's so much misunderstanding around sharks because they're viewed as big, scary apex predators that will eat you. Keep your eyes on the sharks. They're very, very vigilant. Every time we go in the water, this is their home. It's not ours. There is always a risk of someone getting bit. summer and we like to dive with sharks on a daily basis. Me and Summer met as zookeepers at a facility we both worked at. She actually went to school to be a zookeeper. Didn't know that was a thing until I met her. And we started hanging out as just friends. Started going diving actually a lot and the ocean kind of made us fall in love. I didn't really know much about sharks and then I met her and she knew a lot actually. It's because I'm part fish. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually, as Shark Addicts, we just started a YouTube ourselves to try to teach people Dang. about sharks. So today we're going to go out to a spot called The Drop, um, where the blood drops down about 30, 40 feet. And then so we're going to try and bring in some bull sharks. Um, we have some people here from Switzerland that have never done this before. We're trying to educate people on sharks as movies and TV does a lot of bad things for them. So we're going to try and break them with that fear and bring some sharks in nice and close. Bringing in bait, it can be dangerous, but um, a lot of shark bites and things like that always happen in water that's murky, very shallow. As long as you keep your eye on them, they're not going to come up to you. Um, There's so much misunderstanding around sharks because they're viewed as big, scary apex predators that will eat you. They are apex predators, but they're not there to eat you. Um, a lot of it's social media, the movies, don't let your kids watch Jaws. Never seen She's it. She's never seen it. Won't ever watch it because it gives them a bad rap for no reason, just for our entertainment. And honestly, like very heartbreaking to see uh, just people are, are uneducated and it's um, not their fault. It's just the way that society portrays certain things. And then once you actually get to know um, the species and what they stand for and how important they are, uh, you get a totally different uh, view on everything. Uh, I'm going to actually take the fish out, I'm going to cut it up and we're going to put it into that crate there. Um, doing that, it's still a little frozen as it defrosts, it's going to release some blood and different things like that. We'll throw that in the water. And that'll help bring in the sharks and then as they come in closer, I'm going to have a piece of fish in my hand. I'll be cutting it up in chunks and letting it go, allowing the sharks to come in. I'll swim underneath the crowd and everybody else as well. Um, so the sharks will actually be swimming right underneath everybody. Remember, keep your eyes on the sharks. They're very, very vigilant. If you keep your eyes on them, they're not going to want to come anywhere near you. I'm going to be focused on the sharks and keeping them around you guys. I'm also going to be bringing them in <laughs> close to you guys too, okay? So you guys excited? Yeah. You excited? Come on, you got to be yeah. excited. There you go. You got to be excited. <laughs> oh. So we're going to go ahead and drift them in the right spot, and I'm going to drop the crate in, and it will be good to go. And I proposed to her at an alligator wrestling competition, made it to the finals, pulled out a nice ring for her. And then a week later, found out she was pregnant. We went shark diving. That was the last time since before she had the baby. And uh, yeah, we came back up from one of the dives and she asked me what I thought about the name Coral. And I was like, I actually really like them a lot. So that's where her baby's name came yeah, from. So that's where <laughs> it came from. We would love to get Coral involved in the dives. Um, when she is old enough, she will definitely be learning about sharks. She'll be learning about all the animals. Whether or not she likes sharks and wants to get in the water with them, you know. We'll let we'll, her figure that out. Yeah, we'll let out, her but... figure that out. If she likes sharks, she wants to be, you know, a conservationist when she gets older, um, you know, we'll support her. It is a really cool feeling because, uh, like he said, when you go down, it's literally, it feels like it's just you. Mm -hmm. And it kind of reminds you of like how tiny you really are on this planet. And like, there's so much more out there. So when I'm in there, it's just like, this is the moment.
You know, sharks are there to eat the dead, the weak, and the dying. And that's pretty much why our oceans are clean. Without them, it would be like a huge dump. Sharks are actually keystone species. So uh, they're, they're extremely important and they help keep uh, basically everything in check and there's checks and balances. You, it's amazing to see like the animals just come out of literally nothing and then they're right there with you. It's like one of those things that like you're gonna remember that forever. I was terrified my first time to be honest with you because of movies. I mean, animals to me, like they're still scary until you learn them. You know, when I'm underwater and I'm literally taking food and placing it in front of a shark's mouth and that shark isn't initially turning to attack me and the people on top of the water are seeing that and they're like, wow, like that's not as bad as we thought it was gonna be. Like to me, that's like, okay, cool. These people are now not afraid of sharks like they used to be. And that makes us really happy because that's one less person in this world that's gonna want to swim with sharks and be like, this isn't as bad, you know? They're learning, they're educating them. And we might have sharks in 30, 40 years instead of them being extinct.